It's time for our reaction to Season 5, Episode 11. 11. And it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Yes. The penultimate episode. The what episode? Penultimate. Is it mate or mint? I'm not doing this again with you. Because <laughs> what's the point? I'll explain it. And then in two episodes time, you're like, what was it again? Penultimate. All right, you can riff for a sec. Uh, we've got two episodes left of this season. Season 5, I feel like for me, has been the best season so far. With a couple of very standout episodes. Yeah, see, it's penultimate, not mint. Penultimate. I'm not yeah. saying mint. I'm saying mint. You said mm Nah. Definitely the first one you nah. did. Penultimate. Uh, you said penultimate. Penultimate. Mm mm anyway, Dean, has this been your favourite season so far? With two episodes left? Look, it's either this or four or maybe three. So it's it's Not definitely definitely top five. Definitely top five? Yeah. It's a big call. Top five, baby. I like it. I like your ambitiousness. Ambitiousness. Look it up. I, I like your vocabulary <laughs> today. <laughs> all right, let's get into this episode. Full length reaction to this episode and all the other episodes are done. Are done. Are done. They They're are done. They're up and done on our Patreon. Link is in the description. Go ahead and chuck us a like and give us a sub. 5k subs will get us the season 5 bloopers, which is very soon around the corner here. A couple of episodes left before we get to that. But anyway, if you want to do that, we've got to get into this episode. So, Dean, let's do it. Now, keep in mind, we've been locked in this parking garage stairwell for like 20 minutes, dude. Yeah. Okay, so then we turn around and what do we see? A scary homeless dude. And I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, I, I'm like, uh, he doesn't care. Talk. Yeah, and then he goes, he goes, uh, I'll let you out of the stairwell because I have the key because I'm the security guard instead. What? That's a cool story, huh? <laughs> so it wasn't a homeless guy? So yeah. A security guard came along and the security guard let you out. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's how you tell the story that makes it good. That is true. True. That is very true. How you told the story was by far the worst part of the story. No, that was the best part of the story. Play on the stupid phone. Why are you rubbing on the phone? Let me rub on it. What are you doing? What rub on it. Rub on it. My fingers are not greasy. Uh, you have four sausage links in your pocket right now. <laughs> Why should I do that when I can let my shirt do the work? Watch. Mm, no touching. <sighs> Brilliant. Nice. Oh my God, you're an long. animal. Guess what, boners? Boners. Boners. I just got a part in an M. Night Shyamalan movie. Oh, God. What a twist. You find out that the dude um, in that hairpiece the whole time, that's Bruce Willis the whole movie. That's not the twist. That's not the twist to that. What? This is really important for me. This is important for all of us, okay? Yeah. This is an opportunity. <laughs> We're great storytellers. Yeah. No, God damn it. No, come on. Don't involve yourselves in this. Stop telling him. Yeah. D, you involved us in this the second you walked in and told Yes. True story. Yeah, you really Let's that. get to work. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get some beer. Do we got to get some yeah. beer? <laughs> <laughs> it's not D stars yeah. in a movie. D stars in a movie. No. <laughs> All right. M. Night in 2010. Okay. So what was his last movie? So Sixth Sense, obviously 99. The Happening was 2008. Oh. And so I think... I think Lady Air in the Water had already happened. Yeah. I think Airbender was like 2011. Oh, okay. So it was already shit. Yeah. It's but shame. still, it's M. Night. He's made three good films by this point. No, nah, four. I like The Village. Can I help you? Oh, great. Non-fat, sugar-free vanilla, soy latte, three shots, no foam. All wow. D. Reynolds, featured Reynolds? actress. Yeah. Reynolds. And could you send M. Night over also? Because I have a couple questions regarding the deets. God. Whereas a featured extra is a person whose headshot we pull off a pile, has no lines, and sits in that tent over there to all ready for. Okay? Mm. Snap. Uh, 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 where are we on the coffee situation? <laughs> Look, that's a fair question. Go sit in the tent. Now, that there better be you. coffee in there. There would be coffee in an extras tent, wouldn't Surely. it? Surely. But it'd be like shit coffee. Yeah, shit coffee's still... Yeah, I've had shit coffee. Still better than no coffee. They take an underrated actor, right, whose career's in a slump, and then mm. they make him a star. John Travolta. Yeah. Okay. okay, that's great. Now we need a really great role for him. Oh, you know what I was thinking? <laughs> Scientists are cool. What if he's a scientist? <laughs> <laughs> he like fight crime or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He fights crime uh, with his brain and his brawn. Should we be writing this down? Let's get this down. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a Shyamalan twist to put in this bad boy. Okay, lay it on me. What if this scientist runs around on all fours? Wow, Shyamalan literally goes on to do that. <laughs> oh my god, he does too. <laughs> We're not making the lead of our big budget action movie, Half Dog. No, he's not Half Dog. He's All Dog. No, he's a beast. He's what he is. Yeah. <laughs> that would be the twist. That's so funny. <laughs> Dolph Lundgren will be the voice of this dog. That's not a twist. That's a completely different movie about a talking I'll, dog I'll, scientist I'll with right. the voice. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That's amazing. Smells crime before it even happens. Yes, yes, dude. <laughs> what if his entire head uh, is just one big nose? Uh, you've gone too far. God, I like that. He's one big nose on Dolph Lundgren's body. Oh. <laughs> well, since you've declined my offer to be your agent, I've since taken on Dennis as a client. Dennis has that 
Uh, who is he texting this whole episode? It'll come up. It has to. Can't have two scenes in a row where he's just completely checked out of the conversation. Okay, well, you can't just walk in here and get a part in the movie. It's not how it works. I feel like it is. Yes. Uh, can my client have a part in your movie? Sure. Here, fill this one. You do it. I'll do it. Unbelievable! <laughs> right, you're a corpse. Corpse? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jesus, you come off so desperate. Uh, Dennis in the chair. No, 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 no. Get out of here. What's that? <laughs> Dennis just got a part in a movie. Sweet, dude. Bump it. Uh, All right. yeah, what is he doing? See, yeah, touch phones are uh, new at this time. Maybe he's just like so involved in it. All right. You guys got 30 seconds. Blow my mind. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh. Do you reckon we get an M. Night cameo? I think so. It's a prequel to The Sixth Sense. The Fifth Sense. The fifth sense. A super ripped, super smart scientist in a mesh tank top named Dr. Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> Played by Dolph Lundgren, but that's not the character's name. No, it name. could be the character's name. No. No. That's confusing. No, that's more confusing than making up an entirely new name for a person? That's going to confuse people. I'm taking over. I'm taking over. That's so funny because their name's in the show. Who, after a terrible accident in his lap. Because <laughs> his voice. <laughs> now, in terms of the story, uh, clearly... It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> One of the problems with Shyamalan's movies is that they lack a certain eroticism. What if we were to bring... Uh, You're going through all the erotic, <laughs> erotic moments? Yeah, there's not much. He's back at the lab performing outrageous sexual experiments on her supple young body. Now here's the twist, and there is a twist. We show it. We show all of it the hell because what's the one major thing missing from all action movies these days guys full penetration guys we're gonna show full penetration and we're gonna show okay you're fired i mean we're talking you know graphic scenes of Dolph Lundgren. lick your finger when he talks about this <laughs> from behind 69 anal vaginal what? <laughs> first cowgirl all the hits all the big ones all the hits then he smells crime again he's out busting heads then he's back to the lab <laughs> Back to the lab, full penetration, crime, penetration, crime, full penetration. And this goes on and on and back and forth for 90 or so minutes until the movie just sort of ends. <laughs> that is brilliant. That is the most brilliant movie. Look forward to our reaction. Yeah, just to be clear though, I don't care either way. Well, it was worth it, you seconds. know, because we got the chick thing out of it. Yeah, so this is good. Seconds. How did you get a trailer? Again, on the phone. Yeah. Are we going to have a Shyamalan type twist at the end of this episode? I got it in my head. I just, I can't type it fast enough. I can't, you can't type it at If all. I could type more better than I think it would. <laughs> type more better. Might be good to have an older lady in the mix, right? I don't care for her demographic. I find them judgmental. Mm. <laughs> Hello. Check out this one over here. Does he look? There he is. Yep. Indian to you? Or oh, like he looks... yes, dude. No, it's, no it's not. Wow, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> Oh my god, they're natural storytellers. They're great with twists. They're great with twists. <laughs> Is anyone in your family from India? Mm. Pakistan. They're right next to each other. <laughs> That's perfect. perfect. That's a lot close of enough. Of going back and forth. Yeah. And... That gets so funny. <laughs> Ma'am, we need to move here. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. Holy shit, dude. This is like. Wow, I can barely tell that I was mean, you. I mean, what did they dip you by your heels That's into the blood? <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Frank had him go a little more subtle with me so yeah. you could see my face. I oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lying down. We are losing life, people. Let's go. Ma'am, I need you to turn over, okay? I need you face down, all right? <laughs> Where are you landing on the full penetration? Oh, I'm into it. Big time. <laughs> Do not talk on your phone during the shot, okay? And you, ma'am? Oh, me? <laughs> Back over. Back over. Face down, to she gets stuck to the floor. Oh god. <laughs> Listen, man, if you don't let me answer it and solve my boy's problems, then the phone's gonna ring. You can't have it both ways. Can yeah, I talk I or not? Agree with him on that. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, you know what? I have had about enough of you. Oh, just fire them. Fire both of them, I'll take their spot. What? Done! You both fired! <laughs> Nice. Give my phone back, Frank. Just to be yeah. clear, pal. I don't care about any of this. I got my own thing going on, so. Yeah, I think he's got something big going on. Yeah. Dude, we totally got it. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. Crime stinks. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I, 
I get it. Uh, that is shocking. We had to make some artistic compromises. I think we're good with the body. Yeah, but uh, it's a little... He brought in a, a B team or something like that. Covered me all in blood. That slum dog bastard twisted all of us. Oh, <laughs> Actually, you guys don't need Shyamalan to execute your script because I've got the mother of all Shyamalan twists in my hand right here. Here we go. Been writing a little movie script of my own and I finished it right before you guys called. It's a horror movie about two men trapped in a garage stairwell who get... <laughs> who turns out to be a security guard instead. That's our story, dude. Oh, uh, can I be in it? You know, normally Dia would take this opportunity to insult you, but I'm gonna throw an insane twist your way. You're gonna be the lead of the film. I am, really? No, you're not. Twist it again. <laughs> <laughs> and why is there grease all over? Is this Frank's go goddamn sausage grease? Frank, you froze my phone with your sausage greasy fingers! What a twist! <laughs> Uh, that was good. Yeah. Better than not bad. Wish we got an, uh, an M. Night cameo there. That would have been crazy. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't. Yeah. Again, it's always good when they just try and sabotage each other. Yeah, always trying to one-up each other, thinking that they're better than everyone else and uh, ruining everyone else's day in the process. Yeah, nah, love the M. Night stuff, the twist, you know, you're like, it's 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 good. It's good. They're very funny. You're all doing their own thing. They're all very much, you know, into their own characters now. So that's great. Mac and Charlie were so funny with their script. Oh, yeah. That, that whole scene in the trailer was uh, especially funny. Yes. Yeah. Especially. We knew there was a twist coming at the end. Didn't realize there was going to be multiple twists. Yep, that was good. All right, that is the end of the penultimate episode. Mate. The uh, finale's coming up soon, but full-length reaction to this episode is up on our Patreon. Link is in the description. Go ahead and give us a like, help us out, spread this video to everyone else, give us a sub. 5K subs will get the Season 5 bloopers at the end of this season, which is very, very soon, because Episode 12 is up next. We've done that for you. We're going to leave a link right there. Bye.